Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira and today we are playing Space Agency Mission Number 20. The ADS Phase 2. As always, we will start by going to our briefing. For mission number 20, the ADS Phase 2, our objectives are to add an ADS sensor wing to port 1. Add an ADS sensor wing to port 2. Connect the first wing to the core module's power and connect the second wing to the core module's power. Our maximum budget is $100 million and our maximum time is 20 minutes, 0 seconds. This mission will complete the Asteroid Detection System, ADS. Launch the two sensor wings into space and attach them to the core module. The orientation of the sensor wing is very important. Make sure they are attached as in the diagram above. So we need to have the uh, dishes facing outward on the opposite side from the actual ADS core module. Once both wings have been attached correctly, connect them to the hub module power. So our requirements for the gold award on this mission are a cost of $18 million or less and a time of 12 minutes 0 seconds or less with no checkpoints. So let's go to our vehicles. First thing we need to do is check on what this module is for the sensor wing here. So, uh, so it's a medium-sized module. Got some gigantic, ginormous modules here. What is that one? I hope that those wings must fold up or something. Okay, so we have to launch this medium-sized sensor wing into space. I want to bet that we can do it with the small stage Titan. So we're going to choose a connector. And we are going to use a heavy tug module. And then from here, we will put our sensor wing on. Can I, can I rotate this now? No, I cannot. So, that sucks, because that means I'm going to have to back these wings into place. I'm not going to be able to just kind of let them, you know, put them where they need to go. I'm going to have to do it backwards. That, that sucks. But that's fine, I guess. All right, so here is our completed rocket. And with the first stage plus boosters having a 70% escape rating here we should have more than enough to get ourselves out into space. So, let's see here. 6,775,000, so that's going to be 13,500,000. So I'm actually going to use two of these, because we, we're going to have plenty of money left over. So I'm going to launch and go back, and then create our second rocket. Now, Titan, and a connector and a heavy tug module and then we'll grab our boosters while we're right here and the station parts we want the ads sensor wing and then finally we want the medium stage fairing okay so this one's ready to go also perfect so we'll go back to our launch we will skip ahead and then Four, at about three and a half seconds, we'll two, hit the main one. thruster button. Perfect. Okay. So now we can start our pulsing and conserve some fuel. And we'll even start turning early, get our roll on, get ourselves nice and angled and for the roll, roll to begin right about now. And then just kind of pulse our way down like this. Perfect! And our thrusters are going to cut out, yes. So they last about 30 seconds. I think actually it might be exactly 30 seconds based on the timer. And then we'll get to 45 degrees and we can just, you know, hang on to the fuel because why not? We're pretty close. We got enough fuel. We can make this. 
Hmm. Where's the ADS? I wonder. I bet if I separated my modules early, I almost bet that I could launch straight off without having to go... Yeah, because the ADS is right there. So if I'm careful, I can launch this thing and get it going straight to the ADS without having to go around the planet once. Nah. Nah, I'll do it this way. This way is safe. And we wouldn't want me to crash and burn now, would we? That would be awful if I blew up halfway to the planet or something. Well, it's the space station in this case. It's not really a planet. But first, we will get ourselves rotating 180 degrees because that puts us in the perfect position to slow down. I should probably also get a second rocket moving here. So, when home and station are overlapping, so I can't really tell which one's which. Oh, there's home. Station went away. Hmm. 200 meters. There's three or 300 units. So, if I swap out at about 450 units, Yes, and launch my second one. That should give me plenty of time to get back to my first rocket. So let's launch this. Five, four, Same thing, three, four and a half seconds. Start, one, somewhere in between four and a half and three and a half. Off. And we'll launch it, and we will kind of pulse our engines a little bit. We'll start to rotate, and whoop, rotate it a little bit too much. There we go. That's That's perfect right here. Now we are gaining some speed. The actual roll phase has started. So we will roll, oop, roll a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. So now we've rolled the proper amount. So yeah, it looks like these boosters, the Long March boosters, boosters take almost exactly 30 seconds. Or last for almost exactly 30 seconds is probably the correct way to say that. That's fine. Now we're at 45 degrees. We got plenty of fuel. We'll just boost all the way out of the planet now. All right. And we will start separating our modules. Ooh, that telescope. That telescope's going to be close. Oh, wait. No, it doesn't matter because we're going around the planet once. And then the telescope will be way in the dust. Yeah. Okay. So, we will wait a couple seconds, and then we can leave orbit right about now. And that looks like it's absolutely dead on, or it was. Eh, close enough. Rotate ourselves around here. Get in the proper position to stop. So, right there. Okay, now let's switch back to the first one. We are 100 units away from the ADS. And we are going to fly by the ADS, which is absolutely perfect. And we'll start slowing ourselves down. It looks like, to complete this mission, I'm going to have to move that resupply module there. But that's okay. That's... Let's move like this. There we go. And we've slowed ourselves down. That's probably good right there. So while we're here, let's check up on this. Okay, we're not going to have a fuel leak. We've got plenty of power and everything. So let's disconnect ourselves and get ourselves turning. Go. We can start the rotation on this. Those aren't going to collide with one another. At least not yet. Where is that going to pass? So I will start this moving sideways. 
That's going to pass right through there. Ooh, I just had a thought. I have another module moving around. So let's get that right about there. Perfect, and we'll leave that moving backwards. So, 132 from ADS. So we need to pay attention to this. Let's find out where it's going to be. It's going to be plenty far enough below the ADS. So let's slow ourselves down here. Something like that. All right, now that's perfect. So we can stop that one. And let's take control of this one again. And we will slow it down even further. Actually, no, we're fine on that one. Start that moving forward again. All right. And then, oop. Uh-oh, get back up there. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now we can stop this one. We're really close, so we will rotate it to like that. Grab this, make sure it stops. Yes, it's stopping, that's perfect. So let's see here. Let's stop this one, rotate this one. Yeah, that looks pretty close. So now we'll move it up and over. And then this module. All right. This module should be perfect right now. So we'll rotate this one 180 degrees. And that will prepare us to stop. Just move this one, and uh oh, uh oh, ho oh, ho, oh. we're moving around. Okay, we're still we're still pretty much perfect on this one. So let's keep moving forward a little bit more. And what's this one doing? Want to rotate it a little bit? Okay, so now like right here. Yes, so that looks perfect. So we'll move that one up. Okay, so one last check on this one. That looks like low. it's going perfectly through both of those. So let's move it two backwards, and then we can disconnect it. And now it's moving correctly. So this one here, same thing. We'll move it backwards. Do one final check. Yes, two Release it, go over to this module. Okay, we need to be ready to catch this first ADS module. Boom. Oh, and it stopped. That was perfect. What are we doing with this one? We're coming Docking perfectly. Successful. Boom. Docking okay. Successful. So we have connected both of the modules. And so let's connect up all of our units. And we have the gold award. All right, so that's mission number 20, 19, no, 20. Mission number 20 complete with the gold award in 6 minutes, 24 seconds at a cost of $13.6 million. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Have a wonderful night.